YouTube. What is going on? This is Chris. And I'm just out and about today on Big Black. Uh, just taking a little ride. I might take a ride down to Dry Ridge, Kentucky. And I um, haven't did a vid in a while, and I'm not going to keep you all long today. I didn't really have anything to talk about, so I thought maybe uh, I'm going to wait down here. I'll shoot a little vlog and give a little shout outs and thanks. Um, I guess I'll start out. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. And uh, I'd like to thank all my viewers, um, you know, who may eventually become subscribers. I uh, just want to thank you all. Uh, I thank you for your support. Uh, you know, as my channel continues to grow, um, I love all your comments that you uh, that you give me. And I, I just look forward to hearing the comments after I do a vlog. But um, I just want to say uh, thank you. And... Um, you know, I, I hope you continue to support me. But uh, like I said, I might just take a ride to uh, Dry Ridge. Uh, by the way, today is Sunday, March 31st, 2019. Hmm. Is there even 31 days in March? It's the last day of March. Tomorrow's April Fool, so... You all know. <laughs> but uh, like I said, man, I'm just out here just taking a cruise. I ain't been on the bike in about three weeks. Um, I decided to take a little ride. I did get my uh, first oil change in a couple weeks ago, and this will be my first time out riding it. I did go with the, uh, I went with the Honda fully synthetic 10W30 motor oil. Um, I've been looking around at some different type of motor oils, reading about some. Uh, a lot of you all with Gold Wings are using the AMS oil. Um, I think a lot of you are using, uh, what's the purple oil? Uh, purple purple Power or something like that. Comes in a purple container. But I just decided to stick with Honda. And I seen that they had a full synthetic out. And uh, I bought mine from wingstuff.com. And, um, you know, before I buy a lot of things that's new to me, I will read the reviews. You know, whether that be motorcycle stuff or, you know, gadgets and electronics for Amazon. I always read the, uh, the reviews. And this particular motor oil on wingstuff.com, the Honda Fully Synthetic 10W30, people, I got nothing but, you know, great reviews on it. Um, you know, out of a five-star rating, I read over 100 reviews and I don't think I've seen one less than five. If there was one that was, you know, probably a four star rating. So I just went in and uh, did that. Uh, went with that particular motor oil and, you know, like I said, this is my first time out on it. I heard a lot of people saying in the reviews that they thought that it was a lot better than the Amzor oil. There were some gold ring riders that had uh, used the Amzor oil and uh, you know, after using this Honda fully synthetic, they said that it was much better. Uh, they said things like smoother shifting, uh, overall smoother ride. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't think it was any possible to get a, a smoother shifting and riding bike than this, the Honda Go Wing. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what I went with and that's what I'm, you know, trying to feel out. I don't know if I'll feel anything or any type of difference with it, but um, time shall, shall tell. This is a very windy day today. Uh, it is 41 degrees. I do have my first gear heated gear on. I have the jacket liner. I have the pants liner and I have my socks. I don't use the gloves. These bad boys seem to hold up pretty good. Uh, it's 41 degrees. I am on Interstate 75 North and the wind so far has no effect on me as far as my hands, but um, I have my Heat controller up about halfway, a little bit, a little bit before halfway, and I'm feeling pretty good. And that's one thing I wanted to bring bring out also, people. I'm not doing a review on the first gear or nothing. Uh, I kind of did uh, my opinions on it on a previous review. But one thing I one thing else I wanted to bring to the table on that was um, I've been watching other people that have been using the hot wired gear. And I'll, I'll mention his name. I'm not taking anything from him, but it's uh, Chris Caliente. 
and uh, he uses the um, hot wire gear. And you know, from what he says, it's pretty good. Um, you know, he loves it. He's got uh, several other people using it. But um, I went with the first gear, and another plus, I think, with using the first gear, I noticed Chris um, was saying, I think his only has, I think it's three or four settings. Uh, I think it was like low, medium, high, and super high, something like that. And I think a couple of times when I seen him out riding, he was between settings. And like one setting was like too hot, and the other one was not, you know, warm enough. And there, there was no in between on that. And that's just what I wanted to bring about is with the um, with the first gear unit, as you can see, it has you know dials instead of buttons, so you can tweak your temperature in between. You know, instead of like um, you know you got the low and medium and you can't find your your comfort zone between those but that's another plus about the the first gear it's got the and this is a, a wireless as you can see that it has the dials so you can dial in that exact temperature that you're looking for but besides that you know i would say they all pretty much do the same thing pretty good so i just wanted to point that out to you but like I said, people, I'm not going to hold you up long. I was just out and decided to take me a ride. Uh, I had I actually hadn't even planned on shooting any video. But um, like I said, I just wanted to give a shout out and thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. I appreciate everything that you all uh, do for my channel. And I ask that you continue to support. But I'm going to get out of here and I will holler at you all later. And as always, one love. All right. And uh, I just wanted to give a little update. Uh, I wanted to give an update on these Joe Rocket. I believe these are the crew crew gloves. Uh, they are a, I would say they are a uh, early spring, late fall riding glove. I've been giving uh, pretty good reviews on them, but um, I'm just going to let you all know where I stand with them now. They are a pretty good glove, but today I've been out right about now, probably uh, almost about two hours. Uh, it is about 39, 40 degrees out here, and um, I think that is these gloves limit. Uh, my hands are getting a little bit cold. I do have my uh, first gear heated glove liner in the um, in my trunk back there but I don't have them on um, for the third time in four years since I've had this bike I've had to turn on my grip heaters and those are seeming to do the trick but um, I just wanted to put that out there I've been I've been giving good uh, reviews on this glove and I still do but uh, I think that is about its limits probably about 40 degrees and I've been out you know probably going on two hours so I uh, just wanted to let you know and we will holler back at you later. And thank you for the heated grips. All right.